You know, in Arkansas, we've had a remarkable first 100 days. Uh, frankly, we were able to accomplish things that uh, a lot of people thought were uh, uh, virtually uh, impossible to accomplish. We uh, actually had the largest tax cut in the history of our state, over uh, $200 million in taxes cut, uh, sp specifically targeted at the most regressive taxes. We, we uh, have the grocery tax. We cut our uh, sales tax on groceries from 6% to 3%. We were able to uh, remove uh, everyone below the poverty level from the state income tax rules completely, and even those above it were uh, reduced. Uh, we were able to uh, lower people's property taxes, and we did all that and still increased higher education funding by 10 percent, which was the largest uh, single annual increase that uh, higher education had seen. We were able to uh, increase uh, funding for public schools, K through 12, fully fund a preschool program for at-risk kids uh, at a cost of about $111 million that really gives those uh, children a chance to start competitively instead of so far behind. It not only helps those children, it helps even the children that, that did not need the preschool because uh, the entire class can move at a faster rate when you're not trying to catch uh, a significant portion of the youngsters up. Uh, so we were able to do all that and, uh, and still uh, uh, devote significant uh, resources to uh, public school facilities. And there's a, a general feeling or mood of uh, openness and optimism and uh, progress in our state that, uh, that goes as far as the actual substantive legislation. You know, the, the mood of a people, the morale of a people, the attitude of a state is uh, uh, maybe more significant than any of the uh, specific accomplishments because when there's a feeling of togetherness and unity and, and uh, progress, uh, then it uplifts the entire state. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do. Anybody that stops now and rests on their laurels uh, uh, would be making a mistake. We have uh, to continue to attack the grocery tax until we ultimately eliminate it. Uh, we have to work on economic development. Uh, Arkansas can be a leader in uh, alternative fuels that are based on cellulose, uh, based upon uh, wood or wood products, uh, rice straw cotton stalks, uh, switchgrass, and obviously the timber itself. Uh, we can provide uh, not only cellulosic ethanol, but green gas, cellulosic gasoline. Uh, we are on the verge technologically of being able to provide those alternatives, uh, rid ourselves from uh, dependence on foreign oil, uh, improve the environmental quality of, uh, of our state and the surrounding states and ultimately uh, the whole globe. Uh, so there are some uh, positive things occurring in, uh, in our state and uh, it's, uh, it's a good time to be in office and it's a good time to be a Democrat.